it too late to start revising? Short answer is no. It is never ever too late. Whether there is a week left before your exam, whether there is a day left before your exam, it is never too late to start revising. Um, that was the short answer. If you want the long answer, keep watching. So if you haven't started revising it, here are the key things you should be doing. Firstly, don't freak out. Now I know that me telling you not to freak out is like the least useful thing in the world to stop you freaking out, but we don't have time, okay? It's fantastic that you're now starting to revise, but we don't have a lot of time left for the exam, so we need to make sure what time we have really, really counts. So do not spend that time freaking out or worrying about how little revision you've done. You need to focus on the important things. So we're talking about key skills here. So for maths, going back to basics, making sure your algebra is in place, your functions, your fractions, making sure you can do stuff on your calculator properly, making sure you know your, your recall things, your units, your equations for physics, making sure you know your words in French, the basics, the stuff that is going to come up over and over and over again in lots of different exam questions. You need to take as many shortcuts as you can. So instead of writing out your own flashcards, go and get the ones that I've got for you on my website or go into Quizlet and have a look at other people's flashcards. There are loads and loads up there. Um, ideally you'd be making all of your own notes but if you can't make all your own notes and you don't have a lot of time left, don't forget I've done all the videos for you, all your revision guides, textbooks, these have lots of notes in them. If you have time, go over the specification. Um, the specification is like a really long checklist of stuff that you need to know. I've done ones for maths and science which you can download from my website. Um, and go over and make sure there's no big gaps anywhere. Since we don't have a lot of time left, there is no point you revising stuff that you already know, even though that makes you feel good because it like reaffirms that you know stuff, you need to be revising stuff that you don't know um, and this is hard because it doesn't feel as good um, you're not going to be as confident at it but you need to spend your time prioritising which bits you do and which bits you don't know and focus on working on stuff that you don't know or stuff that you're not very comfortable with stuff you can't do very well in an exam as opposed to spending time on stuff that you do know really well and then if we have any time left you need to be doing as much practice as you can so with your flashcards quizzing yourself on stuff um, with some of the, the stuff in the revision guide can you like cover it up and then repeat it back with some of the videos can you tell me what's going to happen next next before I work out the answer for you. If you do have time getting your hands on as many um, past papers or predictive papers or quickfire questions, any of that will be absolutely fantastic stuff for you to do. Like I said before, there's loads of stuff to help you over on my website. But if we have left it just a tiny bit late to start revising, um, whether your exams next week, whether your exams tomorrow, do not freak out. All is not lost. There is still lots and lots of things for you to do. You just have to approach this calmly, you just have to approach this sensibly and you have to prioritise your working time. So good luck guys, fingers crossed for you. I know um, that you're really really stressed at the moment so by but whatever you do, please, please, please don't um, think that it's a good idea to stay up all night revising. You do need to get a good night's sleep. Um, you have to prioritise yourself as well as studying for the exams. Um, so good luck, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know, and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too